Are we ready for that to dream? Are we ready? Yes, 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 no, yes. You want some of my Djibouti? Well, that's for a certain special somebody that I haven't met yet. Please, I'm lonely. Milton, I beat a hell. Got no fucking speed left cause he's 35. Milton, I beat a hell. His legs are gone and so is his hair. Never really was any good anyway. Milton, I beat a They all want me. But I say no. Djibouti is the way. Now I know what's happened. He's took a bag drug and just chopped off one of his legs. That's why his speed's gone. Abdi her just had a really bad night out. And he was so fucked up by the end of it. He just decided to amputate himself. Let's have a look at the African Cup of Nations qualification group that we're in. We are currently... Second, because we haven't played a single game. We've got Lesotho now. 2039 African Cup of Nations qualification group. And it's against probably the worst team in the group. It's a 5-0 victory for Djibouti. And look who's scoring the goals. He started where he left off last stream. It's Moses Mango. Yes, who plays for Obok Wanderers now. Signing on a free. That's excellent work. Djibouti led by the superb Mango. The six assists by Djibouti's Moses Mango is a new Djiboutian record. The previous Djibouti record for assists was held by Almeric Osman with five in 2021. All right, Tunisia against Djibouti. It's the old rivalry rekindled like it always is. Can't wait to see you in the African Championship of Nations. It's, it's expected. Jamal scored twice. He's got great hair. Lesotho against Djibouti. We're still very much in it to become one of the best second place teams to qualify for the African Cup of Nations. More goals against the low seed teams and we should be saying hello to that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Everything's rigged. It's Djibouti against Cape Verde. We have victory here. So we are going into the Tunisian game, the last game of the qualifying stage, with a chance to win the group. Tunisia haven't lost a single bloody game. Of course we drew to Bastard Lesotho. Ah, oh, here we are, last game of the group stage. I'm not going to watch it. I'm just going to pray that it's not bad. Come on, Djibouti. There's only a one-goal victory for Tunisia. Last time. Right, well, we're just going to have to look and see what the other second place teams did. So, a 1-0 defeat against Tunisia. The same guy with the same dramatic haircut. Arthur Arentz of Randy United is the 2038 Djiboutian Player of the Year. He's not played for the national team. The end. Who are those dudes that go on YouTube, scroll down and see a thumbnail with Vivo in it and goes... Oh, that is legit. I should click that. As we round off this decade of very average football. Well, I say average football. We've just drawn 4-4 against Togo. That is not average at all. Ahmed Hassan Ramsey scoring goals for fun at the moment. 28 goals for the national side. Ahmed Hassan Ramsey has broken the Djiboutian goal scoring record, having notched his 28th international goal in the recent match against Togo. So he surpassed Morgan Howard in fashion. There goes Ramsey. Ah, oh, just flicks it in with the right foot. And that's it, record breaker Ramsey. Oh, I'm sorry, right. We've had Emma and now we've got Justine. Dave Forrest have just pulled off a great signing. They signed up Emma for 12.25 thousand. It's not that I want to rush this series, but I'm getting a little bit impatient. FM police alert. Hang on, hang on, hashtag Fabregas, mate. For one, Moses Mango. Oh, I love that guy. Everything is rigged. The Norwegian is a coach. Shilangat Ali Bogore Salimi. It's a good job that we call them cabs. No! No! Oh, Bok, I beg. I will give you extra money. I'm going to rig. Everybody else seems to be rigging against me. I'm going to rig against everybody else. I'm going to rig against Randa. Hashtag rig against Randa. The thing is, Randa were in Division 2, yeah? And it could have been any of them Division 2 sides. 
Oh man, Obok hit the crossbar. It could have been any of them Division 2 sides coming up and challenging, and I would have been happy. But no, it had to be Rando. It's a penalty for Obok with three minutes to go, and someone is placing it. And by. Oh my days. Why are people celebrating the fact that Randa have won something? Delete Randa is well and truly on the cards now. Let them win for once, when was the last time they won? In that first save and they won everything. The whole reason why we have a free agent draft in the first place was because Randa. If I see Randa on top of the Premier Division next year, I'll be like, you've done this yourself. The people who celebrated, you've done this yourself. But can we call Ortiz and tell him that his sister and Chavez ran away to Randa? Great idea. I'll get on the phone. Sonny John scored for Nigeria. John Amidjama scored our goal. We got Ali Deher on goal. Nice one, mate. That will end another season of Djibouti and football. Let's go and have a look at the league tables before... We completely finish this. Arta Panthers are the new Premier Division winners. Horizon 2nd, Danan, Aerolaf, Wadi go down. Djibouti Division 1. Yaboki stars up and Dolly Dragons and Dadato also into the Premier Division. Hull Hull Bottle Jobs, excellent. Cartilla Rovers, Kontali Harriers, Dick Hill go down. Fagel Rovers, Igalo Union and Isle Mucha are promoted. With Bal Bali United, the worst team in Djibouti. Have you heard the Djibouti national anthem by any chance? It is the most glorious thing you'll ever hear. It's so triumphant. Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> it's not that good. Matty, time out. <laughs> Let's crank out a couple of quick seasons, Kutsi said, and now we're before discussing the Djiboutian anthem. Why have we dropped 15 places? Did you expect us to win away against Nigeria, away against Egypt? The assistant manager needs to have a talking to because he's given us a friendly away against Tunisia as if we want to play them again. It's not good without Spud. Do I want to know? Who is Spud and how he's changed? Sad to see him grow. Almost no old Spud remains. Could see we all know that those streams were made so great by catching all the Pokemon released today. Changing Spud for you. <laughs> Ba da 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 Fuck Spud da da Spud is my city Tunisia against Djibouti The grand tussle of power between the two heavyweights We're still losing Nice 4-0 victory there against Ethiopia Kind of making sure that everybody in the FIFA headquarters understand that Djibouti are not that bad We've just had really tough friendly opponents. We get a victory against Ethiopia, and what did they do? They just put us down even more in the world rankings. Oh, that was the qualifying for the World Cup, and I just skipped it. Mind you, 4-0 victory. I'm not going to replay it. I might as well skip the next game now. We're definitely through to the third round of the World Cup African qualifying stage. Hassan Ramsey's 10 goals for Djibouti this season is a new Djiboutian record. The previous top goal scorer in a season was Merlin, who had scored nine goals in 2028. That's a long-standing record that's just toppled. 3-0, Moses Mango, John Amidjama, John Lacapelle. Special fried rice and chips. Oh, duck. Mmm, mmm, duck. Hoisin, no, what are you doing with peaking? What are you doing with peaking, duck? Hoisin sauce on duck. With pancakes! Yeah! Look at Emma go. 18 years old, 7 appearances for the national team. Look, representation of the Obok Wanderers. Oh, there's a musk. There's a genuine musk. That is man sweat. If I had a vagina and my middle name was Patricia or some shit like that, my nipples would be erect. Smelling that musk, all hormonal. My middle name's not Patricia, by the way. Hello, Cord Keem. Drama alert nation. Mm, let's get my Still 
sickens me that the holders of Randy United, the current holders of the African Cup of Nations, come to Djibouti and give us a good thrashing. Even though we had more shots and more shots on target. Moses Mango, the only guy in Djibouti who knows how to find the back of the net. Like, I really think we are about an inch away from African greatness. But because of how bad the draws are, we can't even get qualified for the Cup of Nations. Libya against Djibouti. I've seen Ahmed Hassan Ramsey's name again. Moses Mango. 31 shots in this game. Let's have a look at what's happened in the league. Obok Wanderers on top, which means that the price money will be boosted to £16 million. Dave Forrest, Port Djibouti and Ali Sabio go down. In Djibouti Division 1, the league table looks like this, with Tajora Town, Arheba Phoenix and Aero Laugh going up. Malaho Majestic, Wadi Wanderers and Golo Union go down to the bottom tier. Division 2. Dora Athletic, Cartilla Rovers and Gobeto Town all up with Balbal United, the worst team in Djibouti.